so what the process is how we do the process so first is we establish the trends with the help of previous year data so why do we need to establish the trends what is the meaning of trend like huh flow like where the market is heading yeah so basically you want to see the trend is it we are growing or we are dropping how much is we like we used to see in the financial analysis what is the cost of sale as a percentage of revenue over a period of time so you want to see what is the trend where we are heading towards so that when you make a forecast in the future okay uh, we going to do a business for let's say $10000 in the now we are doing $5000 and we are paying 50% cost if we do a business of $10000 in next year what will be the cost 50% of 10000 that becomes 5000 cost right so easy to easy to estimate the cost now because you already understand the trends so you need to establish the trends with the help of ratios we learned quite a lot of ratios right yes. operational uh, return profitability ratios your expense ratios your balance sheet ratios return ratios so we need to understand those ratios De growth or declining pattern month over month how our data is declining how our business is performing month over month every month is different some businesses are not seasonal some businesses are seasonal right hospitality tourism business are seasonal if there is raining we don't have any business but if i do the same occupancy percentage every month that is wrong correct yes. because we know is not is not going to happen so what we do is we plan okay we know that in low season we don't have much of occupancy or much of business so how we going to get this how we going to shortfall this one in high season where we going to get the business from and how much we can get realistically same goes for any kind of business some business are affected by seasonality some business are not affected by seasonality but there are always factors which affects the growth for example now black friday right a lot of people are doing their black friday sales your emails will be full of thanksgiving and black friday discounts so business will grow spikes on this month of november correct so when you are doing your operational budgets you are not doing budgeting for one month one year at and as a consolidated basis you are doing it month by month so that you can factor in the special events and special events not only in your country or in your location all around the world especially if your business is global i am selling my courses online so it doesn't mean that what where i am setting is going to impact all over the world sometime you have thanksgiving sometime you have new year sometime you have diwali sometime you may have other uh, chinese new year so people will do different kind of promotions to attract the business <coughs> correct to acquire new customers so it, you can do many even for hospitality business we run the promotion in china also for chinese new year we do the promotion in india also for holi we do in singapore for singapore uh, school holidays we do in malaysia also we do thailand also because people from different different countries will prefer to travel at different point of time so we try to see where we can get the customers for each different month so same case goes for our business we need to understand what are the demand generators for our business how we create a demand when we so that means we can plan the activities ahead of time so you cannot just go ahead and do the marketing short minute right just realize oh next month is thanksgiving day let's do a promotion now too late you need to plan ahead if thanksgiving is in the end of november when you need to start the promotion maybe a 15 days ahead maybe uh, maybe a month ahead right so you need to then it will help you to understand the trends the trends will help you to understand when you should start marketing and seasonality so what do we with this do with this we establish the relationship between the events that has happened in the past how does these particular events help us if your business has no impact from from the black friday sales so you don't need to actually worry about black friday sale anymore you don't even need to go to the promotion for that particular day right otherwise you are wasting your money so if you don't understand this if you let's say you don't have any trend 
and you just think i want to spend on the black friday because good everybody is doing that so you're going to waste your money right so you need to establish the relationship between the events and how your business grows together okay and then the customer acquisition rates you need to make growth rates you need to check the conversion rate with your external data set okay once you do that then you apply the trends with the microeconomic data or microeconomic data what is microeconomic what is a macroeconomy macro means global global yeah worldwide or you can say on a large scale so when you say myanmar gdp is a macroeconomy yes yes is a country right so myanmar's gdp is a macroeconomic factor what is a microeconomic factor yeah specific to the company or industry so maybe let's say myanmar gdp will grow by let's say assume 5% so does it mean every business in the myanmar will grow at 5% some may grow at more more than 5% some may not grow at 5% also correct so let's say we say uh, what is the fastest growing business in myanmar now fastest growing telecom telecom or finance sector how about insurance insurance is going to grow is not growing yet but it's going to grow so you now you see that uh, if you see the global macroeconomic data you will try you will get to understand so if let's say you are a e-commerce market then where you should be thinking you want to promote you want to promote your products to the person who are working in telecom to the person who are going to work in insurance because their jobs are going to increase right their spending power will increase definitely correct so you need you can identify your potential markets for your future business so that there is then you can apply this microeconomic data microeconomic for industry and your own particular company correct so then you can draw a forecast number with the help of past trends and then you compare the result with your desired outcome what is the desired outcome means means the one that we originally set for our vision correct there you can actually set up your desired goal if our trends the one that we have established the trends and finalized the market is it working in sync or not do we are we able to achieve our desired goal or we are not able to achieve our desired goal and what if you are not able to achieve your magic number if let's say you want to grow the your business to 5 million dollar in next 5 years and with the help of establish the trends and then you see the whatever is market is available you think you will not be able to reach 5 million so what do you will do improvise improvise right not just increase the number to show 5 million you need to improvise and find new market maybe or find new products or new ways to do the same thing so that helps you to plan your business in a realistic manner okay